Good morning and welcome to the 66 daily update for the 24th Friday of February. Um, once again I'm joined by Kenya the cat who has decided my desk is the place to be. Um, so what's happening in 66? Well last night um, I ran um, Savage Island um, in, under the 66 magic. Uh, for our regular Thursday night group, uh, I was just filling in um, because we were sort of down a GM. Um, one of the things I experimented with, and I'm sorry, I'm going to have to take the camera off you, Kenya. One of the things we're experimenting w with was keeping track of how the uh, monsters are done. So, with at the moment, say a monster, um, just want a good one from there, it comes a lot. This is how we present monsters. Now, as a card-based system, it's not practical for the GM to have a set of cards for each monster. So what we do is we replicate the monsters' um, cards in small form, and that's one monster there. We've done two on a page here for convenience. These are acid sprites. Um, and the idea being that you write on you know, you just scribble next to it what's whether it's in the dynamic pool, the static pool, or whether it's rotated, etc. And that works reasonably well, but of course you're scribbling all the time with a pencil and rubbing out and things like that, so it's a little bit of a pain. Um, so we've been sort of searching for a while for alternative ways of doing this. Um, and the other week I discovered this stuff. Hello, Kenya. Um, um, if I can get past this cat. Uh, this goes this stuff, which doesn't look like much. Um, it's called metal paper or something metallic paper, and it's basically a sort of plastic with um, iron filings embedded in it. As I understand it. It's quite heavy and it's quite stiff. Uh, but one important thing about it is that um, it's the sort of stuff fridge magnets will stick to. Um, so what I was experimenting with was. Dropping the the, um, the board, the metal paper into behind the uh, behind the um, combat sheet, and now with Frig Magics, I can now have little markers. I don't know if you can see that I've written P on them for pool, just indicating there in the pool, and I can put it next to uh, which cards. It's got in the uh, deck, and then it's very easy for me to show. Oops, that obviously the magnets are fun, holding them funny. Oh, the magnets aren't that good. Uh, put them in and show them rotated, and they're reasonably secure. They're clearly, if I hold them in certain ways, they will drop off. Um, and when the cards rotate, you can just sort of rotate the token, or if you use it, it comes out of the pool, you can just take the whole token out. And that is actually, um, it worked quite well last night. I'm going to sort of think about the actual sort of style of um, um, little sort of markers, work out what's the uh, best shape and way of doing it. But and the good news is if that's very cheap and easy to produce in low numbers, uh, because this... Um, the fridge magnet stuff you can just print out on an inkjet printer and just cut it up um, so we can do that and so the idea is we'll produce a few uh, little simple sets to sell on the stand it's just one more um, sort of gadget effectively on sort of an extra you can add on the, using pencil and paper works perfectly well but these I think are actually going to be easier and beneficial so we'll work on this idea a bit more so that was last night. Today I have um, working on 66 shootouts. I'm trying to organise the cards, um, working out what we actually need for a production run, and that means um, tweaking a little bit the characters because sometimes we have cards which are almost the same but not exactly the same. And obviously, if we sort of merge them down to one card, then it's a lot easier for us to produce because then we can just one card in greater numbers which makes it cheaper.
and makes packaging etc easier so I'm doing a lot of that I also need to do some work on some publicity material I need to do some work on artwork and 466 Hellenic because I'll be chatting with the Foster Brothers this evening about their project um, so that's going to keep me pretty busy today so until tomorrow have a good day